Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to look at a revolver that has been highly suggested for reviews and a revolver that I have very little experience with. I have held them at gun stores but never fired one and honestly really never had any interest in charter arms. But people say these are great revolvers and they're not very expensive and there are many to choose from. You really ought to check it out. You just might like it because you review Taurus, you review all kinds of revolvers, but you don't do or review Charter Arms. So I wanted to give it a good shake today and ask you your thoughts, opinions, and experiences with Charter Arms. Now what we have here is an undercover light. Primarily a pocket carry revolver. I know a lot of people would pocket carry either this or the Taurus 85. Back in the day, I'm sure they still do. They, they say it just slips in the pocket real easy to retrieve with the rubber grip. Real lightweight. Charter Arms says it's 12 ounces unloaded. I'm measuring closer to 14 ounces. But this one has a Cerakote to it. And these go for about 400 bucks. The Cerakoted models go for about 80 bucks more. And this is called Old Glory. And whether you like that or not, I, I, I don't know if I'm a fan. I'm waiting for it to grow on me. I don't know if it is. <laughs> it's, it looks sort of like just some squiggly lines with the red, white, and blue. Anyhow, it has an aluminum frame, steel barrel, very light. We'll get it on the scale because they say 12 ounces. I'm not seeing it. One thing I noticed is that the, and it is a five shot. I also don't think it's plus P rated because they don't mention it. If it was plus P rated, they would certainly say, hey, this is plus P rated. So I'm gonna go with a solid no. But the one thing I noticed is that the ejecting arm has that shroud around there, which limits the length of the ejection. And I took out the Taurus Defender 856 to see if that's the case here and no they don't it, it has about an inch ejection as where the charter arms has about three quarters of an inch do i think that's going to prevent a solid ejection no i think the grip is pretty cool though it's got some raised bumps right there slight finger grooves three finger contact with the pinky on the bottom it is very light and I think this would make a nice pocket carry. And if you go with this, it comes in a case like this and basically a lock and some paperwork and other things, a manual down below. But it is a plastic case versus a cardboard box like Taurus will do. But I want to show you the, the weight and then we'll take a look at the trigger. It, it's not bad, but it's weighing in at approximately 14 and a half ounces so i'm not sure where charter arms says it's weighing in at 12 ounces maybe the cerakote is super heavy weighing it down i don't think so the the double action trigger pull pretty common if i compare it with the taurus the taurus is actually heavier i can feel it and this is the first time i did that on camera yeah this is this is uh lighter the charter arms is all right single action Nice trigger pull. Not uh, anything that is super light. And we'll do that with the uh, Taurus. And I would say they're very similar based on what I just experienced. It does have a transfer bar safety right there. All right. See that transfer bar safety? Okay, raises. And when the hammer drops, it, it itself drops, making contact with the firing pin. But we look at it, it, it seems pretty cool. It would be nice to get a six shot. This is a six shot. This is a five shot. So in order to do that, you have to make a little bit of a wider cylinder. And if, you, if you're close up, you can see that that's just a little bit wider. All right. And so that, that's that. The Charter Arms, what are your thoughts, experiences, your shooting impressions of Charter Arms, like a little snub nose like this? Always nice to have. Always nice to have one. You can throw it in the pocket uh, in those discreet moments where you can't wear anything on your belt or whatever. But you're looking at about 400 bucks. 
you get a Cerakote model like this, which I'm not sold on this Cerakote. I think it's, I think it's cool. I think a lot of people would like it. I don't know if I like it, but people say charter arms are great. They, they work well and they have a pretty decent variety on their website. If you never checked it out, is this a pass or is it a fail? Or are you unsure? I would love to hear from those who have charter arms, revolvers, and let me know what they think. Or what do you think of this one? If you don't have any experience, what do you think of this one? Is this a pass or a fail in your eyes? And I look forward to the comments. And who knows? Pretty soon I may be purchasing a charter arms, take it to the range and show you guys and tell you what I think. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.